Ladies and gents, I'm filming the intro for this video. You'll see it play in a second, but basically you're gonna learn how to start a driveway ceiling business, which can make you like 200 bucks an hour. Then we're gonna cover profits and expenses. We're gonna cover how you can get started with it. All the timestamps are in the description, so make sure to check below if you wanna skip ahead. And at the end, I actually show you guys a method of how you can get a $2,000 or really up to $5,000 piece of driveway ceiling equipment uh, basically for free. You use the machine to pay off the machine. So that's a really cool method. You'll see that at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, enjoy. All right, I'm pretty shit with the intro, so I'm going to keep this thing brief. Um, we did 1.3K in driveway ceiling uh, a month ago. I'm going to be breaking down how that happened, all our profits, expenses, etc., and how you can get started. What is driveway ceiling, first of all? So you have a regular asphalt driveway here on the left it's graying it's decaying it's cracking all that sort of stuff so essentially what ceiling is is you put a new layer of tar on top of the asphalt driveway which makes it black again makes it look nice and new except not this one this was one of our first driveway seals so it doesn't look that good but um you get the idea it rejuvenates the driveway and it extends its life so homeowners if they are smart get it done every two to four years um, or every year. So uh, it's definitely a popular service and one you can charge a lot of money for. So as promised, 1.3 thousand, how did we do it? This was the breakdown of jobs uh, lined up for the day. We completed all of these in a day. Uh, we could have done more, but a few customers were chatty and kept us longer. They wanted to talk to us and offered us beer and stuff like that so 250 220 180 330 250 200 and there was another sale in there i forgot to add uh, it amounted to 1.3 thousand for the day and we also booked more jobs because some of those people uh gave us referrals and some of those people whose jobs we did um other neighbors saw us doing it and they wanted a quote which eventually turned into jobs and that happens all the time with driveway ceiling they see you with your machine or doing the driveway and they want a quote as well so 1.3 thousand these are pretty average prices for a driveway we'll get into pricing in a little bit but just wanted to give you guys a quick breakdown on what that looked like in terms of the day we started at like 6 7 a.m ended at like 9 p.m it was a hell of a day Let's say you want to get started driveway ceiling. You know, it sounds like a good hustle. You can make like 200 bucks an hour. Uh, how do you get started? I'll tell you how we got started. We went to a department store and by hand, uh, we started applying the tar. There are two methods to apply it. There's by hand and there's with a machine. We chose by hand because it was the, uh, the least expensive to get started. However, it is also the least effective, which we learned the very fucking hard way. To start up, you need uh, a squeegee, some tar, you know, a brush to apply it, and, and a couple more things like duct tape for the edging. All in all, our startup cost for the first two driveways was $598, and that yielded us around $450 in profit, or sorry, in revenue, uh, which was used to cover that pretty quickly. By hand, each job takes like two to four hours. It's fucking tedious. I would not recommend this method, but definitely start with it to see if you like the business model and if you enjoy getting tar all over yourself like you can see in the picture um, and if you do enjoy it then upgrade to a machine here we go this is the machine in my backyard this engine pulls the tar out of this barrel you load this barrel with tar goes through these pipes and comes out this wand here and it sprays um, like you saw in this picture it sprays uh, the tar right out seamlessly and as a result, only takes half the time, 30 minutes to an hour. So you can really blow through jobs. Um, but this machine was not cheap. It was 2.1G. Uh, this was the cheapest of the expensive machines. They range from 2000 to up to $6,000. So it's definitely not a cheap investment. Um, but that being said, it is worth it because we paid it back in a couple days time. First month of even starting the business, so not bad. It's more professional too. If you show up with a machine rather than a brush that you got at the department store. But uh, I mean, I was still looking fresh. I got my chain on, got my hat, got my bulging muscles. So you do you, um, but I'd recommend you get a machine eventually. You do need a truck to carry it. Um, but 
you know, don't let that deter you. There's a will, there's a way. I always stuff shit in the back of my uh, sedan, so it's not impossible to drag the machine around if you do go that way. Uh, you're just going to get your car really fucked up and dirty. You can see there's tar stains on my car. That's because we had the... Uh, the engine in the back with all the tubes coiled up. We had the tar in the back seats with the barrel, which was fucking like 200 pounds. We like shoved that thing in the back seat uh, and it just ruined the car. But um, we made a lot of money. <laughs> so it was worth it, I think. But I'll definitely be investing in a truck soon. Stay tuned for that video. Profit margins, right? So your expenses are going to be gas for the actual... Um, uh, engine of it which only needs to be filled once in a while it's really not that big a deal gas for your car which is a little more expensive because you're going to be traveling you know around and uh, while you're doing all these jobs duct tape for the edges so you don't get any on their property this is very messy it's a very volatile uh, spray if you get any on their property you're gonna be in a lot of shit so definitely don't do that if you can manage it the actual tar itself is not cheap uh, so you gotta buy it in bulk if you can or we just bought a whole bunch of pails from the department store but that's what we've been doing for now and an edging board to uh, help protect the property so what we found roughly is that for every $500 made there was around 50 to 100 dollars in expenses so if we made 500 bucks in revenue we profited like 400 how do you get jobs so if this is sounding good to you right now you're like yeah I might try some might try me some driveway ceiling then you need to know how to get jobs we got most of our jobs from uh, posting in local listings and because I have a reputation with my business um, around the neighborhood referrals were pretty common um, but this, this is a really powerful method, posting in local Facebook groups, knocking on doors. We got a couple of sales knocking on doors um, and just neighbors sort of uh, looking over our shoulder, seeing what we were doing. You get a lot of sales through that. Facebook and Google ads um, is very powerful. You can get a lot of sales on Facebook. I'd recommend Facebook ads over Google ads for driveway ceiling. SEO, so optimizing your website and growing your social media presence. This is the long-term play. It's going to be free in the long run, but is also the slowest. Referrals, like I said, so ask your customers to talk about you to their neighbors. I'd say like 40% of our sales came through referrals um, and neighbors uh, watching over our shoulder. And finally, traditional advertising, you know, your signs, your flyers, that kind of thing. Definitely still work. I see a lot of driveway ceiling uh uh, you, uh, driveway signs all over my city now everywhere everyone is doing this business um, but don't let that deter you uh, a lot of people need it uh, if a random 18 year old and his friend can get 1.3 worth of jobs in a day then you definitely can there's enough cake to go around for everyone all right pricing all right how much money can you make uh, with driveway ceiling? so most people price it by the square foot or the car spot so for example, we, we price it by the car spot. It's much easier than, you know, pulling out a fucking tape measure. You go to a driveway and you ballpark how many cars can fit on it. So an average driveway can fit like two to four. So you just envision how many cars can fit on it, like one behind the other, one beside the other. Um, and you charge 50 to 100 bucks a car spot. Really easy, simple method, easy for the customer to understand. They like it. So that's how we charge. Um, and that ends up being... 200 to 300 dollars for an average ticket price and around an hour to complete so 200 to 300 bucks an hour minus expenses so how would you get started today i'm giving you some um, some actionable steps all right if you want to get started in drive wasting today i definitely you know recommend it this is me on uh canada day first of july fireworks this was our uh, 1.3k day uh, i got tar all over my sleeves but i'm fucking i'm a happy man as you can see I'm, uh, I'm smiling ear to ear because I made a lot of money. So if you want to get started today, I recommend go to the department store, grab 500 bucks cash, get ready to drop it on equipment. All right. Buy your squeegee, buy your brush, buy your tar. There's tutorials online of what you actually need. Get your first sale on Facebook for free. Post in local you know, advertising. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people see it and how many people want uh, driveway ceiling. I get 
uh, inbound leads all the time. I don't even have to post anymore. People just message me. Um, so that's how you'll get your first sale. It'll be free. See if you like it. If you like the business, if you like, if you don't mind getting tar all over you, then I would recommend that you use your profits to eventually upgrade to a machine and a truck, which you can use to carry around the equipment and, uh, it'll be happy days and uh, profit from there. Now, if you are a high testosterone alpha male, <laughs> there is a faster way to do it. And this is what we did. So we did do the by hand method and it works. However, it's tedious. It's a headache. We hated it. So we knew we needed a machine and we wanted it quick. We didn't want to, you know, go through two weeks of doing it by hand to earn enough money to buy the machine. We just said, fuck it. Let's buy the machine on credit and use the profit we make from the machine to pay off the machine. <laughs> so, uh, you know, speed is very important. Um, speed is the name of the game. We bought the machine on credit. We had no money. Uh, and then whatever money we made with the machine paid off the machine. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, but you have to work quickly to pay it off. We only had like a month to do it and we made much more than the machine was worth in that time. So it was happy days for us, but, uh, that's how I would do it. If you, uh, if you have an entrepreneurial fire inside of you, uh, that's what I think is the fastest, best way to do it. So, um, if you guys, you know, enjoyed that, uh, that little presentation, you can subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. Get me out of uni. Um, so I can do this full time. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. M many more videos coming. A lot of videos on how to get leads for your business. Um, how to close deals, how to, uh, reinvest into your home service business, how to, uh, just a whole bunch of shits coming your way. So stay tuned. Hopefully you liked the video. Thank you very much. Peace.